Okay. All right. Uh, coming to you live from a meat locker, apparently. <laughs> We're never going to get the lighting right. We're not. Never. Never. Anyway, not important. What are we here for today? On a warm summer's evening, on a train bound for somewhere, I met up with a traveler. We were both too tired to sleep, so we took turns of staring out the window at the darkness the boredom overtook us and she began to speak she said you know i've made a life she has out of traveling from place to place clever dever adventures sometimes i go alone and the freedom's really nice oh. but if you don't mind me saying yeah I can tell by your wistful face that you wish you had a travel buddy. I'll give you some advice. <laughs> All right, everyone's found us. Uh, hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, I gotta remember to look at the chat. How right. is everybody? <laughs> Yay. And it's been a couple weeks. No, I don't wanna do that. I can't even see anything. No, I'm she so can't blind. see. It it's all matter. right. Hi, everybody. It's been a couple of weeks. Tell us where you are tuning in from so we can say hi. By the um, way, this is the first time Julie and I have been together in three and a half months. Yeah, it's been a while. We haven't seen each other in three and um, a half months. 2022 started and I immediately left the state. Yeah. Um, and I didn't. <laughs> I stayed. And uh, it took a little while getting back to Los Angeles, but I'm here now. No more boomer treasures on either side of me. Just a Rachel treasure. And just a Rachel treasure. So sorry if you are missing out on those, if you're really missing those boomer decor treasures. Um, so let's see, we've got Caitlin coming in from Maryland. Hi, Caitlin. Jenny and your mom are in from North Vancouver. Hello, hello. Beth. 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 BFF with Joel. Happy birthday, Beth. Yay. Beth's birthday, birthday was a couple days right. ago. So keep uh, telling us, Kasuka Dan, are are you coming to us from Japan? <gasps> I love Japan. I love this global party that love we have. Love Japan. Simon is coming to us from Long Island, New York. Hello. So keep letting us know where you're from, and I am going to continue to talk about what we are here today to talk about, and that is five things to look for in a travel buddy, and three red flags, and overall the five rules of traveling together. And um, as brought to you by Kenny Rogers. <laughs> if you miss Rachel, the... Leah, Cohen, best friend. Five, <laughs> five rules of traveling. <laughs> good, good, Eli. Hi from 9,000 feet up in New Mexico. Well, hello. Hello, New Mexico. <laughs> Saskia Black from Germany. Okay, so here's the thing. Sometimes you do feel like solo traveling, but sometimes you want to have a travel buddy and you're not sure who to take with you. But you are in luck because I can help you figure that out. And I'm gonna tell you today with the help of Rachel Leah Cohen yes. and Kenny Rogers. Correct. Uh, so if you prefer to travel alone or if you have traveled alone, click the like button so we can see how many people travel alone. And can I click the like button? I like to travel alone sometimes. I do too. Yeah, we all do. And there's no shame in that game. But this is also about what happens when maybe you want to travel with somebody. And if you love traveling with a friend, hit the love button, hit the little heart button. Let's see where everybody's kind of falling. And you can be really close with someone but still not want to travel. Yeah, with we're going to talk about that. Um, also, a little bit of housekeeping. If you wanted the replay from my last show before I went on break, that was to how to plan with the five best travel apps. It's coming. Uh, I was on the road, so it was very hard for me to get that stuff done. But it's coming. Do not worry. If you didn't sign up for it, but you do want the notes and travel tips all about the five best travel apps to plan your next trip, make sure to put love it in the comments so I can see and, <laughs> and make sure to get that to you, hopefully within the next few days. Um, also, ooh, before we start, you know I love giving travel gear gifts, and today, this is something that I love. And I love it, too, because <laughs> Julie told me to buy it, so I did, and it's cool. Can I show um, it now? Yeah. Tell me so, when. Okay, you'll, you'll know, because I'll okay. cue it up. Okay, got you it. ready? Okay, got it. So, this be favorite piece of travel gear is, what is it? It's a wet dry bag, and you know why this is so fun? Because sometimes if you're swimming or you have some clothes that got wet, it's You just a unzip it. <laughs> it's got a liner in it. Well, you don't have to pull my oh, swimsuit out. Sorry. It doesn't matter. I'm not wearing insane. it right now. But it's got a liner on the inside, so it keeps the things that are wet from getting your other clothes wet. It's got 
two little two little zippers and it even has this fun handle that folds it up and makes it small you can origami that um so yes today i'm gonna give that away to whoever wins how do you not win? this one because your bathing suit no i'm not giving you my okay. bathing suit okay, i just want to make sure i mean your bathing suits are cute totally cute but okay. they're for me all right um but i will send you a fresh new one and how do you win you all you have to do is put nugget first in the yeah. comment and then whatever travel tip that Rachel or I share with you, make sure you get the nugget and the travel tip that resonates with you, which will also help other people go, ah, yeah, that was a it's great true. tip. So make sure you put nugget and the travel tip that resonated with you in the comments. And at the end, Rachel, I will randomly scroll and pick up. <gasps> oh, I, I'm excited. I'm, yeah. This is my first it time is, on the show. Oh, that's right. It is U.S. residents only. Sorry. Sorry, unless you're going on one of my tours with me this summer. Then she'll just and bring I it. I will bring it to you. Can um, I win it? No, you already I have one. I have one. Okay. <laughs> okay. So once again, thank you so much for joining us today. Who am I? I'm Juliana Dever, travel, experiential travel expert. I've been traveling the world for 25 years. Wow, I actually started counting it up. Yes. I love meeting with cultures and people all over the world and sharing it with you. And I also curate super fun tours where we have some cultural Amazing. Immersion. Yes. So I help people um, go on off the beaten path adventures. So, and, oh, it's in time to introduce our guest. Oh, hi. And you guys, I, Rachel doesn't know this, but I'm going to share with you oh. a bio that Rachel and I once wrote for a TV show that we pitched. Oh, my that God. was That still should be a show. Like a, a Which bigger one? show, A to C. Oh, of course. A yeah, and here's C. what happened, though. Oh. Everybody wanted it. Everybody. And then a pandemic happened. Yeah. So it still might show up. But I'm going to read to you Rachel's bio that she and I wrote together um, for. <laughs> I'm not going to look. I just want to experience it naturally. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Lori. Um, okay. Boisterous and irrepressible, Rachel makes a situation funnier just by being there. Mm -hmm. With a disarming ebullience of spirit, she attracts strangers into her orbit, all the while giving straight talk without self-censoring. By the way, Julie definitely wrote that. That is so <laughs> not, I, I don't even know I'm what half those that. words mean. Go ahead. <laughs> Rachel has been on more game shows than dates. That is true. A single woman comfortable in her own skin that while is true. constantly looking for her soulmate. Yes. Who knows? She may find the love of her life dancing the tango in Argentina. That yes. is true. That is Rachel Leah Cohen, my travel BFF. What's up? And so we are here today to talk to you about traveling with somebody else. It does have huge benefits, um, one of which, especially if you're a woman, but anyone, really, safety. Someone mm -hmm. already always kind of knows where you are. Also, it's fun to, I mean, usually, to travel with somebody else. And it's somebody to share like the great moments, but also some of the planning so that you don't feel like you're working the whole time on your trip. And the crappy moments too. That you turn into that we turn in. I, I have to tell you, I think that every single trip we've gone on, and if we've had a crappy moment, we pretty much spun it. Like even the pizza in the middle of the night in in um Austria. Where where were we? Where that were pizza we? Pizza where we had to that little town where there was nothing to eat and we're like, oh, we're hungry. So we, we took an Uber to get pizza and made them wait. Like it two, was like a, the local taxi guy. And yeah. It was $25 to go 15 minutes. To and get then $25 pizza. back. But we were both like, so we were annoyed and we were hungry. And the pizza and then, like, was terrible. And the pizza was horrible. But because we were going through it together, we, we just laughed through the entire thing. I mean. So let's talk about, let's okay. talk about, um, first of all, and when I did say Kenny Rogers was going to help us, yeah. let's talk about the number one rule of traveling together. And that is you got to know when to hold them. Yeah. And what do I mean by that? I that don't means know. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget, if you do want the notes from today's uh, she made good ones. show, just put notes in the comment. And don't forget, if you want to win the wet and dry bag, nugget tip. Okay. Um, Simon wrote, you can get lost walking miles in the wrong to, to, to direction together. Simon, did you watch our, our Is that Instagram what stories yeah. in Slovenia? In Slovenia. <laughs> Patricia or Beth agrees. Yeah. Um, okay. So what do you look for in a travel buddy? I, I sketched out five things and I okay. know you and I roughly went over it, but let's, let's talk about it a little okay. bit. So first of all, I think having similar budgets. Right. 
And it doesn't have to be exact, but similar. Bunnies. And it doesn't have to be a lot either. It could just be whatever that means to you. Yeah, it's just, it's challenging if one person it wants to stay at the Ritz-Carlton and go to five-star Michelin restaurants. I don't even think Michelin does five stars, do they? They do three stars. I mean, I have no idea. <laughs> it's a tire to me. That's really what Michelin But, has. you know, it's one thing if somebody's going to be doing, like, they all want to do upscale stuff and somebody is on a budget and wants to split things. So, you know, just right off the bat, be open about what kind of uh, travel budget you're both looking to spend. And don't forget, if you need help on calculating your travel budget, I also did a really cool That was a cool show. That was a really good show. Yeah. And I can send you the replay and the notes and more travel tips. Um, put budget in the My comments. goddaughter and her boyfriend are going to Europe, and I actually sent them that show and the travel budget. Excellent. So, yeah. Because they're, that's what they're trying if to you do. Want, and I now. created a tool for it. So if you want that, just put budget in the comments, and I'll make sure you get that. So second of all, it's uh, similar travel styles. And what I mean by that also is, like, is it relaxed versus active? Is it – and also um, – you guys have a desire to go to similar places because if someone wants to just go if it and there's nothing wrong with any of these trips but it's where you are at the time you're looking for a travel like if you're doing a vacation right do you want to go to the beach and like whatever or do you want to do like a european Uh, yeah or japanese or south american i just just, japan Japan has such a sweet spot in my heart i mean such a delicious so good um but you know just like where are you guys feeling like going and do you approach it the same because some people like to schedule and some people want to fly by the seat of their pants and if you are very and, and again this is not a judgment but if you do not like schedules or you do not like flying by the seat of the pants in case you miss something be really honest with those things. Like you've got to be up honest up front because otherwise but, it, it, you, you're going to set yourself up for frustration during the trip. But I have to say that over the years, we have melded our ways. So like, for example, Julie's a napper. So when we get to a town and she wants to take a nap and I'm like, I want to see everything. Then like, but then sometimes I've taken the nap too. That's not what I meant to say. What I meant to say is that what, what I meant with to how say many is that, legs? How <laughs> many? Like, like what I meant to say is like with the budgets and stuff like that. Like I remember our very first big trip together. We decided like I didn't have really. I didn't. Want, I don't care about spending a lot of money on food. But we decided. You know what? Let's do a splash. And she did. But I said, you know what? Let's do a splash. She actually said it. Let's do a splash out meal in every city. And so I was like. Okay. So, and that, yeah, and then so, we and ate so, street food. And then yeah. Was- and then we do like something really big. And some of those restaurants we went to, even though I would never normally do them by myself, I actually amending to some of the stuff and, and mixing some of the thoughts of travel. I'm really into my hands. She's right really now. into it. Because my nails, look at my I nails. I want to put an accordion in your hand. But because of it, then we were able. I've adapted a lot of your travel styles and you've adapted a lot of my travel styles over the year. Which is, yeah. And we'll talk about that too. Oh, sorry. It's, I'm sorry. Am I, no, am I going off? No, we're, we just, we think alike. <laughs> um, but yeah, so similar, uh, just to kind of agree on a budget together mm-hmm. and agree on a destination slash style of travel together. Mm-hmm. Um, flexibility. That's another thing you want to look for in a travel buddy. And I, I want to stress that um, this applies whether you've been best friends for years, because I got to tell you, there are people that I am close to. I will never travel with them because we will not be close anymore. I will leave them in the woods somewhere in rural Sweden. It's just what will happen. So you have to know your own limitations and say, my goodness, I love them. And if I want to preserve this friendship, we will never go on a trip together. So that's what I want you to think when we're applying it, like assessing, is this person a good travel buddy? Also, if you're meeting someone new, you could meet a stranger online in, you know, like Wonderful, um, which is like a like a travel meetup, and you find another woman that's got like similar um, styles. But it's good to sit down and talk about these expectations, right? We so, had a we have a friend who um, Julie met through a dog uh, group on Facebook many years ago, who we ended up travel with, who lives in the Netherlands, and we ended up traveling with her. It was a small little trip, yeah. but but she was a stranger, and we met through. Yeah. 
I mean, through online, and now she's one of our dearest friends, and like we're like, let's go travel with her. I yeah, mean, and we always have a good time. Sometimes yeah. you can naturally feel these things out, but I just want to give you this sort of structure, right? So the third one is flexibility, and this is somebody who's open to suggestions, you know, and they're they're good with going to with the flow, um, and they're present when you need them to be. Mm -hmm. Because if you have a friend that's just always, always, always on their phone, they're not actually going to be traveling with you, they're, and that's frustrating too. So. Pick someone that you Wait, know is flexible. Isabel wants to know, how did you two meet? You probably already told us once. Oh, we've shared. So We've shared. Julie and I want to play together. We were the only, I, I don't know what I have a lot to say and what I can't say. Oh, I, look, well, we'll make it short. Short. Because we got, it, we got a lot yeah. to get through. We were cast in a play together. We were the only two actors. That would show up on time. That would show up on time and had a similar work ethic. Mm -hmm. So we kind of bonded over that. Waiting for the rest of the cast to show up, basically. Or, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah. And then we just, we clicked. And how long, Isabel also wants to know how, um, after what time of being friends do you think is a good point for planning to go on a trip together? After, you know, this is so case by case, Isabel. Honestly, um, you know, like Rachel was saying. Um, we went, when did, what, what year did we meet? What year is there we smoke in? coming out of my what ears? What year is it? Oh my it? goodness, it was it's like 17 years ago. So 17 years ago, so that was, let's say, 2000. Oh, 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 2004. We met in 2004. I don't we did two that. We met in 2004, and our first really big trip was 2013. Yeah. We did little trips together. Maybe but it was first... because that was the first time it was like, yeah, we have the budget to do this. Right, right, right. And you can right. also do little, little yeah. trips to kind of feel it out. Right. Um, so, and Beth, I only wanted to throttle Kay once I was in Slovenia. <laughs> Beth and her daughter Kay went to Slovenia with me. And if you're really lucky and you go on a tour with me, you might also get to travel with Rachel. So we know Beth and she's super fun. Um, so besides flexibility, number four, adaptability. And this is super important. And this is a little different than flexibility, meaning is this someone that is okay with bailing? You know, like, yeah. you and, and again, I had a show about that. I have so much, so much travel information for you. And it's all based on experience. Yeah. Too. So it's not that, out of some book. It's all in, it's all in here. It, you know, and the idea of knowing when to bail and being okay with it. Knowing and when to fold them. That's well, right. Yeah. That, but that's not no? actually knowing when to fold them. We're oh, still sorry. in how to pick a travel sorry. buddy. I wanted to give you guys a serious foundation of how to pick a travel buddy. And then the rest are all much right. uh, quicker. But um, yeah, knowing when to bail. For instance, Rachel and I, for you guys that were with us and saw us go to Albuquerque. Um, and I know I, someone's joining us from New Mexico. This is... Um, Albuquerque was not the place for us. And the situation in that, without going into a long story, is that I had won... Um, three nights at what was supposedly a very nice hotel in the center of Old Town. And when we got there, it was so unfun. And really, we it, it, we knew it was going to cost us money, but we decided, like, after one day, we were trying to figure out how to get out of Albuquerque. The show should have been called How to Get Out, how to get out of Albuquerque. But we were actually looking at flights to Vegas. We wound up renting a car and driving to Santa Fe and Staying in a really nice hotel that we that had to nice. pay out of pocket. Yeah. We're like, but you know what? Whatever. It's your vacation. Right. You've got to be able to be adaptable. And when things don't go as planned, planned, be okay. And hopefully your travel buddy is okay with going, let's cut our losses. Let's go do something else. Okay. But with that being said, and that's with the the negative things as well, I was re-watching our Instagram um, story from that whole trip. And I have to say, I have never laughed as hard as the two of us trying to get out of Albuquerque and not being able to get a car and not being able to get a train. Not being able to we get out get of anything. And I, like, rewatching it, I, like, I couldn't stop laughing because we were just like, there, there's no reason to sit there and be like, okay, we're, no, we're, well, we're just going to stick it we're, out. We're we're it. Yeah. Like, good Eli, agreed. Albuquerque is not ideal. And you're from New Mexico, right? <laughs> or you're in New Mexico. See, validated. Um, yes. So, uh, yeah, and Caitlin, yes, Nugget, similar travel styles and adaptability. Watch how I do this, Rachel. And then it goes across the bottom. Oh, that's so cool. Right? This is so fun. I, I love, I feel like I'm on a game show. I mean, a, a talk show. It's very fun in here. Oh, maybe you'll win some sushi later. Um, I'll take a okay. behind the scenes picture. Okay. Like, wow, so, and finally, finally is, um, hey, 
attitude. That's the fifth one and how to pick a travel buddy. And attitude really is everything. This is that person we, Rachel and I had experience. And again, this is a perfect example. Somebody who was um, very close our entire lives. And we went on a trip and this particular person in real life, very generous on this trip was did not have a good attitude and um there was a moment where i had i i kind of planned i have a, a thing where sometimes i like to plan surprises along the way if you've traveled with me you know that you know how fun that is but i knew rachel was gonna love to stay in a tree house and i managed to get us and it was my birthday this incredible tree house oh, so awesome. in canada it was amazing and our other traveler hated it and made no um, secret bitched about it about hating it. Time. So the whole time she's trying to have the most fun moment of her life. And the other person's like, I hate this. I'll pay for us to go to a hotel. I hate this. I hate this. We're going to get murdered. I'm Blah. like, go. <laughs> but you know what I mean? So like you need to have someone that's got a good attitude. And when things do go wrong, are they able to see the way to kind of um, flip it and go, well, let's make the best of it. Yeah. So, um, you know, they don't shut down. They just have a good attitude. So let's go on. Oh, three red flags. Ooh. We could, this, it could be a whole show about just this part and we're still on point one. But the three red, so the three red flags. The three I, red have, flag. I have a hard time saying my R's sometimes. It's nice to see you, Jules. I haven't seen you in a few months. <laughs> I know. Um, Push them out. Do that. Okay. Beth, I wanted to. Oh, my God. So uh, the red flags. Number one, selfish. Again, one of our friends who seemed very generous couldn't have been more selfish on this trip. What, yeah. what other, um, like it was just the so other thing about being selfish is that remember, it's not just your vacation. It's the other person's va or trip, whatever. I'm just calling it vacation for now. It's not the, just your trip. It's somebody else's trips too. So it's, it's kind of like being in a marriage. I love how I always say things to marriage and I've been single my entire life. Um, <laughs> if, if you know of anybody, you know, um, but, but what I'm saying is that, it's it's their trip too so if if you know we get into moods we get into spaces where like okay so walk away and don't and don't let it affect your travel partner because yeah. it's not your or even super little selfish. things like always taking the best bed in the hotel room i mean just share anyway number two drama queen and uh, I mean, we all know what a drama queen is, but this is also somebody that habitually responds to uh, situations in a melodramatic way, sucks the air out of the room, loves negativity. You know who they are, and they might be really funny at brunch. They are not great to travel with, so don't do it. They might be really <laughs> funny at brunch. That's a nugget. Can somebody please just write, they might be really funny at brunch. That's awesome. They that is my quote. Good travel out of companion. And the number three red flag is lack of awareness. And this is somebody who kind of has an inability to read the room or it, it just not just self-awareness, but awareness in general. And I think the frustration that built up over time on the one trip that we took was this particular person would only grab their luggage and then go inside and leave us to unpack the snack bag and everything else. Or, you know, this lack of awareness that there were other people on the trip or that it was your birthday. So that was not the time to pout, you know, so just it was. And there also there has to be, you know, like a hole with that, like just be aware of every single thing around you. I, the, and the grabbing the bag, I remember it was pouring rain and we had accumulated like gifts that people had given Julie and, and all, all of these different things. And at this point we maybe had, we hadn't condensed yet. We maybe had each of our bags and like seven to eight other bags and it's pouring rain and we're in front of the hotel. It was and like everyone in Slovenia. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. But and, sorry. but, and, and I remember that Julie, like I'm trying to push stuff in and this person took their bag, took and, their bag and left. And, and I was like, like, it's raining. Uh, yeah. And anyway, so anyway, any his, we'll tell you guys the whole story at brunch. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So if you go on Julie's tours, yeah. then she'll tell you everything. Juliana's tour, she will tell you everything. So let's talk about the other four of the five rules yeah. to traveling successfully with somebody. And so this is uh, Kenny Rogers once again. Oh, yeah. You got to know when to fold them. Yeah. What do I mean by that? Yeah. This means like, you know, just just put your cards down and be okay with kind of blending your what you want to do with somebody else. Know when to give and take. Know when to be like, you know what? I don't. I'm cool. Yeah. You know, so, and I want to talk a little bit more about that I'm cool thing later, but just 
when you're the tra rules with traveling with other people, know when to just be like, yeah, no, you want to do that. I'm, I'm happy for you. Um, number two, know when to walk away. Oh, so this is, so when we were in Prague, was it Prague? Or Croatia. No, no, no. Oh, well, Prague. Croatia too. Uh, well, let, well, let's talk about Croatia because that was more, more recent. So we were in Croatia and there was like this whole Game of Thrones like thing that I wanted to see and we were planning on it and it was 175 degrees out. It wasn't 175 degrees out, but it was like, very, it was like a hundred and it was, it was like, <laughs> it was so hot that I walked outside and by the time I just opened the door, I was soaked. Julia's like, I'm not going out in this. I just, I can't. She's like, I'm not going out in this. And she's like, I'm going to take a nap. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go see this. And we were able to split ways. I did what I wanted to do. And we actually did that twice in Croatia because it was so hot, but I didn't want to, there was a couple things that I really wanted to see. And yeah, I was like, I mean, we're not going to get to see it if I don't go do it. So I did it on my own. Yeah. I mean, fine. there are a lot of times when you will, and, and I remember a long time ago, Seamus, my husband and I had traveled with uh, two of our friends to uh, Germany and there was, I, it was the first time that Seamus ever realized that even if you're with a group, there were four of us, you could all break off and do different things. Like my girlfriend and I wanted to go walk for like 15 miles and he really wanted to see Checkpoint Charlie. And then our other friend wanted to go sit in a bar and watch a football ma match. And, and Seamus was like, no, what do we, we, and I was like, it's okay. Yeah. Like, just walk away. Go, you go do this. We're going to do this. He's going to do that. And we all came back together. We all got to do what we wanted and we were all super happy. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you just need some time apart. Sometimes it's good. Like you're collecting your thoughts. You're enjoying a little bit of solo travel. Maybe you've taken a nap. You feel refreshed. So know when to walk away because it's going to make your trip better. Uh, the third point is know when to run. And this is not run away from your, uh, yeah, from like, your companion. <laughs> um, Yes, Lori, I got compromised because we're all here to have a good time. That is correct. Yeah. Um, but, look at this. Which one? Someone's watching the show from another location. <laughs> My husband, you guys missed uh, out on uh, Checkpoint Charlie. Losers. I didn't even go. What, what, what is Checkpoint Charlie? I think. It's in Berlin. It was when Berlin used to be behind the uh, the wall. Wait, wait, wait. And so that was a, oh. it was kind of like a, a border that yeah. you would, yeah. And I don't know. Did you get your passport stamped? You did it. So were you there? I don't know. Um, losers. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't on this trip, so he still likes me. <laughs> anyway, know when to run. What I mean by this is know when to run things. And unless you are with someone, unless your agreed, agreed upon roles are, I am going to always run the this trip. I'm going to manage it. And I'm not going to do anything. Um, and you're just kind of, under functioning and this person's over functioning and you both are super happy with it. God's the good. only way you can Agreed do that is this. if you go on one of Julie's trips, Juliana's trips, and then she'll run everything and you can just relax. The only thing and you have to do love is, it all. is figure out what to do with your free time. Right. Um, but what I do mean is, you know, take turns. Unless you've agreed on roles where one person's doing absolutely everything, as someone who is this is my life and my work. When I go on a trip, not one of the, the adventures that I run and have already planned, but when you and I are just traveling, if I'm doing everything, I'm not having any fun. Like, and, and what do I mean by that? I mean, like, if you are like, I'm the one who's looking up every restaurant. I'm the one, if we're on a road trip, looking up every exit, looking up every, this person we were telling you about also refused to look at their phone to tell us uh, where the next gas station was. So you know what I mean? Like take turns. I went on a trip with another friend uh, to Korea and it was the first time after kind of those travels. And she's like, okay, I figured out the Korean Metro systems. We're going to take this stop to this stop. And I was like, Oh yeah. my heavens. Right. This is a gift because it's not, even if you love planning the travel, you don't always want to do everything because it's not relaxing. And here, then we're going to talk about my peeve. Oh, yeah. My pet peeve. <laughs> oh, Seamus, he's still in the comments complaining about Checkpoint Charlie. Uh, do you have any stories not in Europe? Isabel, did you just hear me talk about Korea? Yeah. <laughs> You're making Europe sound really bad to travel to. We've, no, are you kidding? I we've done you. a lot of European travel, but we've also done Asian travel together. And every time I've been to South America, I've been by myself. So I don't have any travel buddy stories because I've 
I'm going to have a, I, I've had people join me in parts. Oh, Seamus was with me. We went for New Year's to Brazil and Argentina. Anyway, yeah. I'll go to Brazil. Um, well, okay. Okay. So, yes, I, I, I've traveled all over the world, but um, most of our stories are from there. But you're making Europe sound really bad to How? travel to. No. How? Every experience. I have not had one bad, well, yes. Back when I was in college, I had a bad experience. That's in Europe, not. But that doesn't right. count. I have never had a bad experience because even when we've gotten into places where we're just exhausted and we don't want to do something, we flip it and go do something else that makes it so much yeah. fun. So it's actually, you know, it's, it's like when we got to, we couldn't have been more exhausted. And then somehow we wound up getting like <laughs> massages in this random room. But. <laughs> We didn't even care. We were so happy. We didn't care. You just, sometimes you just shell out the money. Yeah. Anyway, my pet peeve. Oh, yeah. Let me share this with you is. These tips could double for tips for a good marriage. Yes, Simon. Yes, yes. Simon. <laughs> That's why I'm going to be the best wife. Okay. <laughs> yes, and I did do, so. I've done most of Central America. I just wind up not always traveling with other people. I do. But anyway, Rachel's here. So I'm going to tell the stories that we're involved in together. That's true. When you travel with other people, and I really, really appreciate the flexibility, the adaptability, and you saying, I don't care whatever you want to do. But, like, inside of that, I love Rachel's, right inside of that, at a certain point, is abdicating all responsibility for the entire trip, the day, the evening, whatever. What do I mean by that? Like, let me give you an example. If you really, 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 really have one meal that you just do not care about, or you have a taste for nothing, or you're fine eating like cheese crackers out of the vending machine, that's that day, right? But when I go on trips and someone, and I say, hey, where do you want to eat? And you think you're being helpful by saying, uh, I don't care wherever you want to go. What that does then is that I, the full responsibility is on your travel partner to look up ideas, to make decisions, to make plans. So I know you think you're being super helpful. You're not. Have an opinion. Have an and, opinion. And your opinion can be, I remember when we were in, um, in Salzburg and I did like, I just didn't know what I wanted. I was like, I don't know. But I was like, ah, but I feel like I want something green, like something with a salad. And then there's a way in. Like, it doesn't have to be like, well, I would really like pasta this evening. It just have a freaking opinion. Because if <laughs> not, so much it's more just, helpful. Because yeah. otherwise, you're in a foreign country and you're like, ah, there's 15 different restaurants that are still open. And I'm over here sitting on my phone looking for things. And then I'll be like, okay, Mediterranean. And then it's like, no. Or yeah. what, you know, so what I'm saying is, please, 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 for the love of God, even just say, I don't know what I want, but I'm going to hop online like, too, or I'm yeah. going to go downstairs and talk to the concierge, or I'm going to talk to I'm the, always the concierge talker. Yeah, that's her job. Yeah. Or, you know, I don't know. I'm going to go outside and ask the guy who at the shaved ice stand, shave ice. You know, it's not shaved. It's not past tense. Shave ice. Shave ice. No, we had, we, I had a carnival this past so weekend, and, you know, and it was shaved ice. Yeah, but that's actually incorrect. Look oh, it up. I'm going to tell the guy. Look it up. <laughs> because shame dice sounds normal. Anyway, I just want to share with you, please, if someone's asking you what you want and you don't know, you get one pass and then you better start knowing and you better start saying, I don't know, I'm going to eat jelly beans. And it could be something as simple like as, you know, oh, I, I, you know, I'm, not, I'm not sure what I'm in the mood for, but like, I don't want anything heavy or I don't want Indian food. Like it, it could just be. That's what you always say. I know, but. You're never going to marry an Indian man. No, I am. <laughs> on kit where are you on kit um <laughs> so, on kit watch this video uh, okay anyway so that is oh oh and the final one the final one you never count your money when you're sitting at, at the, the table, table there'll be time, time enough for counting when, when the, the deal is done deal. beth morris is cringing right now and so are the rest of you i'm sure Why we're not professional cringing? singers but we're, we're filled with joy. Beth is used to me singing. She's fine. <laughs> I like, but Beth, Beth says, just be a participant in your own life. 
Right, but once again, I just want to tell you that if you go on a Clever Dever adventure, she'll make all the decisions. And except for what to do in your free time. Exactly, except for what to do in your free time. And enjoy it. Enjoy that. Because sometimes, sometimes you do want to go on a trip where you don't have to make decisions. And yeah. you... You know, and even for your free time, I just kind of, I'll give you a list and I'll say, yeah. here are the good places. Like right. Brienne has something she wants to share. Europe girls trip. Both of my travel buddies found guys to hook up with and just didn't come back to the hotel until the next day. I got no sleep thinking they'd been in, abducted. This occurred in two countries. That's never Girl. happened. Well, this last trip, I was like, COVID, no. <laughs> I'm not meeting anybody. I time. feel your pain though, because I would be the one back at the hotel room and my brain would be coming up with 16 different horrible scenarios. I'd be so worried. It would be like Taken or Taken 2. I don't know. Taken 2. <laughs> taken 2. Look who's talking now. I <laughs> so anyway, no, I feel you. Just communicate. For God's sakes, just communicate with your travel partners. But finally, the, pay, the uh, money thing. I'm going to be quick about this, but I feel like at some point I should just do like a tutorial video on Splitwise. It's super intuitive, Best. but it's so great. So when we talk about splitting money, if it's the two of you or the three of you, however that goes, um, it's a wonderful app and it's also on your laptop. I showed it before. I don't know if you can, can you see, can you really see? I don't know if that's helpful because you can't see that logo. Um, oh, Julia, you owe me money. Okay. I owe her money. So it's really super great because it has, you can create like self-contained um, files, like a trip. Trip. And you, and then. We do it for everything. We do it for everything. Like we do it if we go up to, you know, wine country, like for a weekend, yeah. we'll just do it for that because it just makes it so much it's easier. It's so easy. And, and this is, again, this is preference. So you do you, but I will share from our experiences that a lot of times it's easier, especially when you're dealing with foreign currency and you're dealing with um, uh, conversion rates, you're dealing with fees, sometimes fees, sometimes not. It's easier to just do one transaction. And if you're doing one transaction, we'll just take turns paying for it on our no foreign transaction fee card. That's right. And then we just write it down and we even say what it is. Like, this is a meal. This was a we Uber. also And we also like to do, we, we write down what it is also because then when we're going back through our budget to see if the budget is yeah, working, we're then we can see. It. But what's great about Splitwise, so for example, if, I, if, if we're not splitting something, like if I get something and I get something extra, oh, okay, so this amount was for Rachel, it actually does that in there. It does different percentages it does yeah you can do it by yeah. I, I actually like and also please just don't be that person we went on a trip once not you and I but my yeah, husband and I we went on a trip with um, some other people and we sat down to dinner and it was one of those places where you don't have uh, a lot of options for vegetarians so my husband was like oh I'll just get a soup or maybe he just had a salad oh, whatever it was where this story it going. was like five this was an episode of bucks, friends later and ladies right? and gentlemen and then someone else is like hmm I'm gonna have the scallops to start and then I'm gonna have this uh, this really big salad then I'm gonna have the most expensive thing on the menu okay so should we split it and you're just like blah whole other situation that's a lack of awareness that's a lack of awareness I mean, but we all know that but that if you do wind times. up traveling with somebody like that you go oh you know what i can really easily just split out what i owe you and you can that's what's great about split wise you can put the exact amount that each person owes you can put half split we should see split. if we get split wise to sponsor um a to c yeah so anyway split wise it's an app and it is also on, uh, you can go to the website itself. The app is great when you are on the road. And by the way, Beth writes, um, prep, plan, how to divvy up the bills. I have to say, we don't necessarily plan it. We just kind of like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I'll get this, you'll get this. And because it's a running tab, if Julie's paid for a bunch of stuff and it's like, then I was like, oh, let, let, let me pay. So always our goal is to catch up at the end. So we have like very little. You know. Yeah. And that's the other great thing because you can see. Yeah. And Carol's just saying she had a friend lose her wallet and she had to pay for everything and figure uh, it out later. Yeah. we've had, Or your card stops working. Yeah. That's, that's happened, happened to me where uh, it, you can't get money out or whatever the reason. And your friend's like, I got you. Yeah. And then you can put in split wise, uh, you know, I paid for this and she owes me a hundred percent of it. Yeah. You know, you can it's even do that. Easy. It's great. And what's also good is at, as you progress, you can kind of see who owes who. And so if it's starting to, maybe you paid for a couple hotels and it's swinging and now like you owe me $500, you're like, you know what, I'm going to pay for the next few things. Because our goal is always at the end to not owe each other anything and to make this um, with our hands. <laughs> um, yes, so um, so that that's my- I want one of the nuggets to be like, Rachel's nails are awesome. 
So anyway, was this helpful? If it was helpful, please drop in the chat like, yeah. I don't care how you say it. I, just, I, I think I, I, I think for me, the biggest takeaway, which I have really learned with you, is that even though someone's your best friend, it doesn't mean that you're good travel partners. And and so breaking this down to be able to break down exactly, yes, you could have a best friend that's great to travel with, or you could have like you know someone on the B or C list that's a good person to travel with. But it's making sure that if you have these tips and and these not the red flags and having the tips that that's where you can find out. If yeah. That's it really person. helps to have that kind of that framework. Cause I have to say like, I have a travel buddy. I won't see her or even talk to her for years. And then I'll text her. I'll be like, Hey, do you want to go to Estonia with me? And she's like, yep. And then we have yeah. a fantastic time together and we don't even hang out in real life, which is weird. But you know, there's some people that are really great travel buddies mm -hmm. for you and this is how i just want to give you these ideas so that you can kind of you know put that overlay on someone when you're looking at them is that yeah that's a really weird way to say it anyway so yeah um i like jenny Ra oh rachel's nails are awesome there you go there you go thank you Lori. um and Jenny Splitwise got me through many a trip, be it traveling, outdoor adventures, etc. Amazing. I think I'll do like a whole thing on it at some point. So, what did we talk about today? Wait, let's Kenny clap Rogers. together. You ready? What did we talk about today? Oh my God, we're so good. we're so back. Three months we've been away. Okay. Three months. So we talked about the five rules of traveling with others, and the first one is when to hold them. And in there, we had five ways to pick your travel buddy. It's interesting. And you used your thumb and I used my finger. Yeah. I'm just wondering. I don't know why either, because I have like hitchhiker's thumb. Okay. Which I don't know. Is that a Neanderthal? My mom is part Neanderthal. That's interesting. Yeah. Anyway, one, when to hold them, how to pick a travel buddy. In that, we I talked to you about five ways to pick a travel buddy and three red flags. Two. When to fold them. That's how to compromise with your budgets, your itineraries. Three, when to walk away. This is when you have see, separate. That I, go I don't know. Like this that. is, it's okay. That's because right. we're different. Okay, we're separate we're, yet we're, beautiful. Yes. Um, three. Oh, sorry. We're still on three. When to walk away. Do separate things. Include somebody stays in and takes a nap and someone goes melts in the sun. Four, when to run. Or gets to travel to the Game of Thrones sites. <laughs> when to run and that's when to run the show when to drive the travel bus take turns don't put the burden on one person and five oh then we there we yeah, go so we ended it we ended it that's good never count your money when you're sitting at the table it'll you be time enough for counting <laughs> when, when the, the dealing's, dealing's done, done. <laughs> <laughs> so remember if you want the show notes to today's to today's notes so you kind of have that in your uh like without all the fun stories but you know you've got the framework make sure you put notes in the comments um all right what do we else love my sister but she's a total opposite when we travel see yeah, yeah. And that's the thing you uh and the borjomi homies have nailed travel together yeah you know what i do want to say really quick if you don't want to deal with finding a travel buddy or you don't have a travel buddy come with me she'll be your travel buddy i Here's what I want to say, and there's there's a bunch of you that have been on my tours before, so you know what I'm talking about. I feel like the luckiest person in the world because I attract yeah, like the best people, like the best travelers. Everyone they They're, like everybody yeah, is Rachel's awesome. Rachel's been on several of my trips. Everybody everybody is awesome. Everyone gets along. It's kind of And they're all it's, strangers. It's, they're they're strangers. all strangers and it's it's sh it's kind of shocking. Like I don't know, you know, cuz I think that in the past, I mean, before we even met, I would not go on like a a, a travel just a trip by myself cuz I'm like well, what if I don't like the people? I have to tell you there's something about the people who travel with you that just everyone's like up for the adventure, kind, funny, like like inclusive. letting it go inclusive. I mean, they everybody. always look out. Is everyone okay? Yeah, and they're like, oh, I want your, my space. It's pretty yeah. amazing. And yeah, I'm getting that like like that bad. When something's really good, I get a bad face. I'm like, yeah. yeah I know weird. she gets really mad at things she yeah. loves. Um, so just want you to know if you want to go somewhere amazing and you want to go with amazing people, come with me because everyone who goes with me just the biggest hearts the most fun um yeah. so it's time to pick a winner yes. what are you winning let me show you the travel julie's bathing suit the wet bag it's a wet i bag. love this look at Teresa rules cole 
Hashtag 2023. Oh, you and me. me. I, love I love it. it. Okay, Caitlin, she's down. All right. You Woo. can still come with me this summer, Caitlin. Yeah. We have some really, really fun trips. Poland, Georgia, Slovenia. Everyone who goes to Slovenia, oh my Boston God, they're so in love with Tina. I know. I want to go back. Well, I'm going back. Okay. You ready? So what? here's how it's going to go. Yeah, what's gonna I'm going to scroll. You're yeah. not going to look. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm focused on you. Okay. She can't see now. She has her glasses Yeah, and I, I can't see. And now. I'm going to scroll and then okay. you're going to say stop. Okay. It's like all those game shows you've been yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. This okay. is this. I was on The Price is Right and this is what I had to say stop. Okay. Okay. Stop. Oh, it wasn't a nugget. Okay. Okay, hold on. Stop. <gasps> Who is it? Beth Man! It's a birthday present, Beth! Yay! Beth, Beth is going with you. Can she get it for you on the show? She's not coming with me this summer. She's coming next Beth? Week. No. No, well, you're gonna get some chances. Now you got a wet bag. You gotta go this summer. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. We loved being here, talking to you as always. You know, it's one of my favorite things is to connect with human beings because there's a lot of good people out there. There's actually more good people than frustrating people. It's true. It I feel like I really love the setup. I'm just gonna sneak over into you're just gonna your sit studio here and just do my own little show. Like we're gonna get the welcome fighting right. to Rachel Talk. Next and time we will look like we're coming to you, not from a meat locker. <laughs> anyway, thank you again, Rachel Leah Cohen. I'm Juliana Dever, and uh, I will be back, unfortunately, unless you just show up. I will be back by myself next Maybe. Thursday what are you at talking about? 12 noon. You know, you know? I, I haven't decided yet. I, no, I apologize, because normally I should have some juicy topic for you to know about, but um, I will get back no, to No, but that's how you get them to tune in. Is tell them what awesome stuff is happening. No, you like say, oh, it's going to be good. It's going to be better than this. What's better than this? I know nothing about it. <laughs> okay, so tune in next week, 12 noon Pacific time. I'll be back in the studio with another amazing show filled with lots of travel tips. Until then... Again, if there was anything I talked about, and if you're watching on the replay, I should have talked to you sooner, but please make sure you put in the comments. If you want the notes from today's show, put notes. If you want the travel budget tool, put budget. And um, if you want, there was another one. There was oh, if you want how to, how to plan trips with the best travel apps, put love it. Those are the three. That's all I can remember. I'm not no, gonna, I think that. I, I think, think that's that enough it. to remember. Uh, all right. I love you guys, and I will see you next week. Bye.